What's good guys, it's Sam here and I wanted to do an update video on uh, the successful habits of uh, wealthy people or rich people. And <clears throat> I started this at the beginning of January 2019. Um, now before I get into the results or my thoughts on this, make sure you press that red button that says subscribe and that little bell notification. That'll tell you every time I post a video. Okay, so if you've been on the internet at some point over the last uh, several years, you've probably seen a video or a meme or something on Instagram or Facebook that talks about, oh, the seven successful habits that fucking rich people are doing that you're not doing. Or the five top things that successful people are need to do or something like that over the past um, over the past you know several years I, I would bet that the vast majority of you have seen something along those lines and uh, before that it was um, it was an email and somebody would send out an email that said something um, along those lines as well. <clears throat> Inevitably, one of those seven or five or ten or fourteen items that is on this list, uh, or on the vast majority of those lists, is is making your bed. Now, as you can see, I am not going to tuck in the blanket. I am not going to pull the sheets out. I just spread the blanket out. To me, that's making my bed. I'm washing my sheets. That's why I don't have any uh, covers on my pillowcases over there. Uh, I don't have pillowcases on my uh, uh, pillows. So, the, um, the common like belief who are people writing these articles, not the actual successful people. I feel like the vast majority of the time, this is like, hey, I interviewed 47 people and they told me every morning they make your bed. So let me tell everybody, hey guys, the top thing that you need to do to be successful is make your bed every morning. But the fucking point is just like completely missed because it's some fucking Joe Schmo who works at Wall Street Journal making $36,000 a year, like fucking, I'm not saying that, like, I'm not, so the money is, is aside the point. Like that, that doesn't mean success, right? Dece success is defined here and you can be successful however you want to do in terms of whether that's you want a great life uh, in terms of a work-life balance. So you work 40 hours a week and you, you do fucking a shitload of other things. Or maybe you really enjoy the hustle and, and you want to make, you know, $640,000 a year. Like, it's completely up to you. You got to decide what it is that you want to do. Maybe you want to work 14 hours a week. Like... That's fine. If that's your goal, like, and that's what makes you happy and fulfilled in life, then do you. So, first of all, the idea that success can be defined by something so rudimentary as fucking making your bed is just uh, uh, completely ridiculous in the way that I view the world. That to, that's to start with. Um, however, I, I know that the vast majority of people who, who write these articles or make these videos or um, things along those lines are, I think somebody, um, there's a snowstorm here on the East Coast and all the roads are just covered completely in snow. So sometimes you'll see a car that's like about to fall, uh, slide off the road or just going extremely slow. Anyways, <clears throat> the, um, the idea that I think is proposed or, or that a lot of the people who are writing or, or, or making these videos or these memes or posting about it on Facebook or Instagram or any other fucking social platform is that success, the way that they've defined it, tends to be about money. And that's the first thing that I wanted to talk about, as I briefly did. Like, that has nothing, nothing to do with success. That's how certain people define success. And that is fine. There is nothing wrong with that. 
Just because somebody else defines success as having a fuckload of money, that's fantastic. But that doesn't mean they're happy. So maybe, maybe a different gauge or, or, or like objective of success, if you want to define something, you have to pick a scorecard and that scorecard for everybody's different. So your scorecard does not have to be fucking your bank account and, and, and how much you make every year. Like your scorecard is different. You get to pick. And that like it for like just focus on that. Uh, I'm gonna get into the making the bed in a second, but I wanted to lay the foundation that that's such a rudimentary like um, it's, it's 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 something that it's not it's completely ridiculous to uh, think that something like that is going to indicate whether somebody is successful um, because, the say 47 people that you interview or that these people have talked to or that you do research on, they use a certain parameter for success. So of course that is gonna be successful. If I talk to, if I talk to 36 people in, or 147 like fitness people who are fucking balls deep into fitness shit, do you think that they're gonna have a different definition, right? Like, so if you're at the Wall Street Journal and you fucking interview 47 fucking executives at companies, I mean, do you think their scorecard might be different than uh, 47 people who are, are fucking into fitness or 47 people who, who love what they're doing, but they're fucking teachers? Like, just, just use your fucking head, right? And some of these things will start to get flushed out over the next several years, I believe, because <clears throat> as people become more aware and understand how ridiculous some of this stuff is, uh, less and less people will hopefully click on these things and <clears throat> more people will um, put actual thought into, uh, actual thought into like something that is much more valuable than these um, ideas that some something so silly as making your bed is going to make you successful. Like, I don't know. It's just entertaining. Anyways, uh, I wanted to now talk about making my bed. <laughs> um, as you can see, I do an amazing job. I am actually almost getting a job at a hotel making beds for a living. You can tell it is perfectly smooth. I've got the, look at this. This is a straight edge. Pretty much. I mean, minus like a little bit over there, but like you're just nitpicking now if you try to give me a hard time about that. But I mean, this is, I would say this is probably like a 99.9 .9 out of a hundred for sure. So uh, I even have my teddy bear over there. Uh, <clears throat> if you have a teddy bear, make sure you press that like button too. Uh, there's nothing wrong with having teddy bears, bro. <clears throat> so the I think the the bigger picture that is missed when people talk about making their bed every day is the and this is what this is what it really boils down to that I feel like is not talked about in these uh, videos and articles and and everywhere you fucking see this shit online is that like that's not gonna make you successful as we went over right it's Putting yourself in, in a frame of mind first thing in the morning to take action um, upon your objectives, like whatever it is that you want to do, remember? Like if you want to, say, have the most amazing relationship possible, however you define that, then maybe first thing in the morning you you do something that's super loving and caring for whoever you're with or if if you want to grow your business maybe that's the first thing you do or whatever but it, it if you can use that as a trigger whatever you do first thing in the morning as a trigger to shift that mental side to put yourself in a state of mind to take action on whatever it is that you want to achieve in life. Whatever it is that you want, you define success as. And that doesn't have to be fucking throwing a blanket on a bed. Like, 
you, the far more important message here is that putting yourself in in a in, in a um, a self aware where you're you can put yourself in that state every day because you know think about like when you're when you're about to like go to sleep like how you are mentally versus when you're say out with your buddies right and you're in the you're, like you're watching if you like sports I don't pay attention to sports but if you like sports or or I don't know other shit that people normal people like uh and you're like excited you're going up to a club or, or something like that or, or a party and you you know what i mean the music's playing and and you're like oh you haven't fucking seen these three dudes to like chill with in fucking you know months and you guys are reminiscing and the music's playing and you're having like a drink or smoking or whatever it is that you want to do and you're just having a different mind like think about that versus like when you're about to go to bed versus like when you're in your business or you're at work and you just close that extra deal or just fucking accomplish that one thing and putting yourself in that state of mind that you want to be in, right? Which, whatever one it is. Or, or think about when you have that really like, the really good conversation with your, your girlfriend or wife, or you put yourself into, uh, um, like, this will probably touch home for a lot of guys on here. And I think this is something that really needs to be touched on. But like, and I can do a separate video on this one. But when those times when you're actually humble in your relationship and empathetic and you let go of your fucking ego and you actually have that conversation with your wife or your girlfriend and you move forward and to a different level of communication with her and how amazing that feeling is to grow. You know, you've been together seven years or 14 years or 10, 20 years. Like, and just taking that and, and realizing that there's, you can always get better at living how you want to live. There's all these different little nuances of ways of doing things like this. Um, and putting yourself in the state of mind that you want to be in first thing in the morning, you could use brushing your t teeth as your trigger. It doesn't have to be fucking making your bed. Like, who the fuck gives a shit? I could care less if my bed is made. Um, clearly, I didn't do it for over a fucking decade and a half. And I don't plan to stop it, start continuing with it at the end of uh, January. Um, but it's definitely pu just putting yourself in, the, in that, in my opinion, in that state of mind that you want to be in for the day, whether that's the, whatever your top priority is at that moment in time and just putting yourself in that mind. Like if you want to be productive then putting yourself in that frame of reference, like if you want to, you know, make more money than doing that. If you want to deepen and your relationship and make it more passionate. And I don't mean that necessarily, I mean, it could be, but like not necessarily from a, a, um, a intimate standpoint. Um, but like, more on the stance of like actually having those conversations that you don't have, you know? Anyways, uh, I appreciate you guys watching. Thank you so much for your time. Don't forget to smash that uh, like button or uh, let me know down below in the comments if you have any questions or um, shoot me a DM on Instagram. Link will be in the description, son. Appreciate you. I am uh, wearing my uh, jacket here because I am about to go to the gym. So I'm sweating here. Uh, thank you so much for your time, and I'll talk to you soon. Peace.